Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. Now today what we're going to do is hopefully buy a direct drill. It's about time I did buy something a little bit bigger in the drill slash cultivator department because we have been going for the entire series with, well, the one which I've just currently lost. Where have I put it? Here it is. Yeah, it's pretty good because it acts as a direct drill but it is just a bit too small. I think it's three meters. Um, I'm looking for something which is quite a bit wider so I'm going to go for something which actually requires 180 horsepower. The biggest tractor we have currently is 145 horsepower. So you're probably thinking that is ridiculous. But hopefully it is going to still be able to pull it. If it can't pull it, then I'm just going to have to prioritize the next tractor, which is only around the corner anyway. So even if it goes pear-shaped, it won't be a big issue. Now I'm actually not going to go and take the other one to the sell point just yet because I want to make sure... Um, that I use all the seed up which is in it. I think it might actually be full. Uh, so that'd be quite wasteful to just get rid of it with the seed in. You don't get reimbursed for it. So yeah, just make sure it's all consumed and then over to the sell point. I'm at the store and it's probably a good time for me to tell you exactly which one I'm going to buy. You've probably already guessed. It is this one here, the Vardestad Rapid A600S. It just seems to be such a good all-round drill. Dire drill. Obviously, it can't plant things like sugar beet uh, or sugar cane, all that sort of stuff, but it is still a very good drill. It is for cereal crops and well, canola and that sort of stuff, so it should be very good. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, and grass. So, yeah, let's get it attached. I will get it filled up here as well. No point transporting it back to the yard just to find out. I need to take some pallets of seed over to it. I'm also hoping to get a placeable seed refill point very soon. I think that's going to be a good thing to buy. Of course, money is always a, an issue, but it is going much better now than it did do at the beginning of the series. I am actually making some decent money, which is surprising. It's actually surprised me as well. I am very pleased. It's thanks to the horses, and I didn't think when the game came out that horses would actually be worthwhile, but they really are. Then again, they probably aren't. <laughs> the reason why is because it is all down to the horse helper mod. It really does help, because you've got to train your horses. If you don't train them by riding them, they're pretty worthless. They're not really worth much at all. And if you have, well, the amount that we have, which I think is only eight, training those every day, so riding every single horse every day, is going to be fairly time consuming. So yeah, horses are incredible. At the same time, their hard work, uh, depending on if you're going to go for the mod. It's a very good mod. The download link is below. I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, it is uh, it's a bit of a lifesaver, really, when it comes to succeeding with horses in 19. Please, fill up. Okay, well, I have either messed something up here, or that is as full as it's going to go. Still, not, in it, but not a big issue at all. I'll come back for that later. So, the good thing is, it's towing it absolutely fine on the road, as you would expect. It's not even unfolded. Um, when it's put into the soil, because it is a diary drill, it does do a bit of cultivation as well, uh, it might be a different story, especially when going uphill. So I'm expecting it to fail. It is, what is it, about 35 horsepower too low, this tractor? It is. So, technically it shouldn't work. The bucket on the front is acting as a front weight. That's what I'm going to say. It does have a front weight. Ah, that's interesting. Um, bizarrely, it's just opened up a new category because I've changed the seed type. It turns out the drill is full. Uh, I think it's getting confused with the bucket because there is something in the bucket. So there we go. That explains that mystery. So this field, if I can drill it, is going to be canola. It's going to be a good crop to do. I don't need so much straw. So, yeah, canola is the one for us. I hope that at some point the... Um, the mod comes out which allows you to bale canola straw. It's a decent mod. I used it right at the end of 17 and now I, I'm desperate for it again because you can actually bale canola straw in real life. It is done for power stations and possibly other reasons too. Um, so yeah, it's a shame that you can't bale canola straw as standard. Anyway, that is working really well. I am pleased. So we have a new drill. Really good news. Um, I don't really understand the horsepower rating because it seems that you can still run machinery um, which is rated too high for the tractors, so I don't know. I'm not complaining though, that is a good thing. I'm very pleased. 
I suppose it's just the recommended amount. I'm just pushing the machines to their limit. So yeah, that's going to go on a worker now. I need to make sure it's not going to be consuming uh, any extra seed, just what I've given it. So if it's gone to here, there we go. Yeah, it's all good. So we'll leave it to it. It's picking up the pace. It's absolutely flying downhill. Uh, also, that is not a drill which can fertilise at the same time, but that's absolutely fine. It doesn't really bother me having to use the fertilizer spreader. So that's good. That's very good. Time to spend some more money. It's so tempting. And that money is going to be spent on these chickens. So what I'm hoping to do is just get an even amount of chickens, so 100 of each colour. Um, and then we'll have however many roosters. And it'll probably leave about 90. Space for 90 more if they're going to breed. I'm assuming they do breed. So 72 of them, 47 of them, and 51 of them. I've got to do quite a bit of mouse spamming to be able to actually buy these things. Um, yeah, in 17 you could just use the scroller wheel. I don't know if there's a shortcut in 19. I guess just keep spamming enter. Okay, so I got a bit carried away and I think I've actually um, reached capacity. It just told me I had done, so that's surprising. I didn't think it would do. Um, but yeah, it has, so it's interesting. It seems to do it very quickly. Still, that's good. We have a full capacity. The thing which is going to happen now is I get absolutely inundated with eggs. This is going to be quite crazy. However, because it is a brand new pen, or enclosure, or coop, it's probably going to flash up a few error messages first saying there's no more space for eggs. It seems to sort itself out, um, but then eventually it's going to just absolutely bombard me with these boxes. So... The stacking process can commence. Put this one here. Uh, this is going to be a very, very full on job. So it will either be time lapse in the future or just done completely off screen. And then I'm hoping to show you some fairly full pallets. It really is as exciting as that, showing you full pallets of egg boxes. There we go. That one can stay because it's still filling up. As I've said, I need to use the seed up in the other drill, so I'm going to go over to the other side of the field here, do the same crop until we are completely empty, and then, yeah, time to sell the power harrow and the drill. So a bit of income. Might pay for the chickens. Now, of course, the Ford tractor is the only tractor I can really use for this, uh, unless I do it with a forklift, but <laughs> that would be kind of strange. Uh, plus, the forklift doesn't even have a three-point linkage. Um, but, yes, I can imagine somebody doing it, maybe even myself in the future, as an unrealistic sort of series. Um, oh, it's almost full. That's annoying, actually. Because it, it does take a long time to consume the seeds, so... Yeah, I don't know if you can empty it. Can you empty it? Oh, you can. You can unload it. Okay. Well, I'll just do a bit then, and then I'll empty it and uh, take it over to the cell point. If nothing else, it'll speed the job up. Two tractors on the go. I might even keep going until we meet in the middle, because really, that is covering the ground pretty quickly. Now the good news is, ModHub is now releasing more mods. This is the official mod site, um, user-generated mods, and also some from Giants as well. I've downloaded a few. Some of them look very, very good. Uh, in fact, actually, so far, all of them look very good. I haven't seen a single mod on ModHub, which I have sort of thought, why would you, why would you even bother to release that? Because they are really good, all of them. So I have downloaded several. I've downloaded the one which allows you to adjust the amount of, well, it actually automatically adjusts the amount of weight that a vehicle recognises a trailer to weigh. Um, probably quite hard to explain, but it is the realistic weight mod. I don't know if that's the technical term for it, but yes, I think what it's going to do is it's going to actually make a trailer weigh what it should do. So instead of the tractor thinking it weighs two tonnes, but actually it's carrying five tonnes, it will make it weigh what it should be. Um, so yeah, that's installed, which actually might be the reason why that can pull that drill, not too sure. I can't really say either way. Uh, what do I have here? What am I actually drilling? Because that looks to be a different crop to that. That has changed. No, it hasn't. That is the same crop. Good. That would be hilarious, but frustrating at the same time if I was putting a different crop in. So far, I am... I'm alright. <laughs> I am succeeding. Good to know. One of the mods as well is a Scarecrow mod. I think it is just a placeable, uh, which is just there as a decoration. Unless it does scare the, the birds off, I'm not too sure. But I'm hoping to place that in this field once it's drilled. So stay tuned for that one.
well, it's gone very well. As you can see, it is being restricted a bit by the horsepower, but overall, it's uh, certainly okay. We can we can live with it until I get a new tractor. Um, so yeah, that, that tractor is going to be replaced by the uh, replaced with the Massey Ferguson 8737, which I think is a fantastic tractor. 400 horsepower, 300,000 pounds. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we, we have money to spend. It's it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to it because I can then buy some really big equipment and I'm not going to be restricted by the size of the fields. And obviously I, I can't really be restricted anyway because the size of the fields um, is going to have an issue money-wise. I can't really go and buy, for example, the biggest field because I think it costs about a million pounds. But yeah, overall, the amount of fields we have uh, can be covered in a short period of time with a big tractor, which is good. Okay, so that's going to try and uh, come back up here again, I think. So hopefully it just gives up when it sees me in the way. I like your determination, but that was kind of pathetic. Mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely desperate to finish the field. I am finishing the field, and then I'm going to stick a scarecrow up. Just to mark the territory. Good. No, not to mark the territory, to show off the mod. Because uh, it looks decent. So... Placeables, if I go on to this page, it's probably in decoration. There it is, £300. Um, yes, it's it's like a, a drop in the ocean compared to the size of the field. But anyway, I'm going to stick it right there. Look at that. I must remember to move this thing before I harvest the field. That is kind of scary, but nicely done. Of course, the credits and the download link below in the description. So if you're interested, then uh, it's there for you. Okay then, so this can go into the shed. It can take the position of where the other one came from. Uh, if, if in fact it will even fit in there, because obviously it's a much longer machine. The other one was good, but just way too narrow. It is going to fit. Uh, we do seem to have a pile of uh, seed, randomly. So that can be used next time. There we go, and I'm off to the store to sell the other two pieces of equipment, and I really don't know what we're going to get, I might have to repair them first, but yes, I'm definitely going to get something for them. I must remember to unload. Yeah, I think I will repair them, because as far as I'm aware, you do get more money. It does cost money to repair, but yeah, it just adds value to the machine, even if it costs us £100 and we only get... £102 extra, meaning a profit of £2. Go away, bird. Okay, here we go. So, uh, actually, before I do repair, it might be a good idea just to unload. I'm assuming if I unload, it's going to put it into a pallet. I'll have to see. Where shall I put it? Just over here? There we go. That is a good idea. I do like that. So firstly we have this, which has a condition of 0%, £125, $125 to do that. Um, and then, well, I should think it's going to go for the same machine again, yeah. Can you sell it from here? You can, can't you? Oh, you can't, okay. I thought you could do. Yeah, so if I just detach that and then reattach to the drill... There we go. Yep, pulling it around our concrete floor with it down. Seems like a good idea. Uh, right, okay, so this time hopefully it's going to detect the drill as the machine that I want to use. Nope, that's the tractor. And that's the tractor again. This could go on for a while. And that's the tractor again, nice. That is the pallet fork. And that is my drill. 108. I can sell it from here. Okay, maybe it's because it's been detached. Uh, so it's worth 8460. I didn't look to see what it was worth before, but the video will have recorded that. Oh yeah, in the field. Nicely done. Yeah, so it should just be a case of uh, picking up this and dropping it there as well. Although I'm still intrigued to see if you do get more by taking it to the store. I might be about to waste my time, but I'm going to do a test. So if I take it to here, it's worth 
10612. If I take it over to the store, it's worth hopefully quite a bit more. 10608. Okay. It seems to have depreciated. I'm not taking it back again. There we go. We have some money. Good. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all uh, very good news overall. Right, now what I want to do is go and sell a bit more wood. So I'm going to grab the steward trailer and I'm going to just basically cut some trees down, log them up into pieces which I can pick up by hand. Uh, they might be worth less, but even so, I still want to do this because it's just going to be easier overall. Uh, I could also use the gator. I'm just a bit concerned where it will fit in. The surprising thing is that I can fit one entire tree into the gator, uh, which I think is quite impressive. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm going to do is go for these. I don't think I own those ones over there, so I have to go for these ones here. This one here might be on my land. Yeah, it is good. So I'll go for this, cut it up in sections, and throw them onto the trailer, put a strap over, and then uh, just get a few hundred pounds for it. Easy money. Right, I'm thinking that sort of thing. There is a, a mod actually which allows you to pick up anything. Mr. Strong, or Mrs. Strong. Mr. and Mrs. Strong. Um, yeah, so just keep going at this and throw them on. I'll strip off the foliage. If I can be. There we go. That's it logged up. Uh, so yeah, I'll just pull a bit closer so I can throw them on the side. I really have no idea how many I'm going to go for here. I just might go for a couple of trees. It's just something. Just mean to uh, boost the bank account. I think that's too heavy. These stumpier ones are going to be uh, obviously much heavier. Uh, yeah, we are actually not that strong. However, they are they are going to be pretty heavy in real life. So it's kind of expected. So in half it goes. Still not strong enough to pick up this piece either. Okay, so I can pick up that. That's good. There we go. This has probably got to be the most unorganised log stacking you've ever seen. Just throw them on. If they stay on the trailer, that's a bonus. Just keep hurling them onto the trailer. So yeah, it's going to be another few days until the four other horses are ready to be sold. Um, but there are other very good money-making schemes <laughs> in the works. Mostly, actually, the eggs. They, they really do seem to be good. And when we have uh, all 500 of our chickens producing the eggs... Well, not all 500, actually, because the males probably won't be. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's about... Four, well, actually, no, because I've got some roosters as well in the uh, smaller pen. But yeah, it's probably about 480, 480 hens which are producing eggs. But when we do get that amount per day, my business here is going to be very profitable. A massive egg business. Okay, last tree. I'm going to go for a smaller tree again. Uh, kick. Whoa, actually... I picked the entire tree up and threw it. Wow. Well, that makes stacking very easy. Put the whole thing on. Is that even possible? It is. <laughs> wow. Okay, many straps. Best thing to do is probably just to do that. There we go. And now, it looks like I'm buying a Christmas tree here, but no. Uh, yes, over to the sell point. We're taking the lumber for money. I really don't know if you do get more money for keeping the branches. You might do. But in here, although the length of them is very short, uh, there are some fairly substantial pieces of wood. And yeah, I'm going cross country here. No crops in the fields though. If you're in the UK especially, have you been watching the new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Jeremy Clarkson? I have. Hilarious. Uh, I don't know what it is. Jeremy Clarkson just has to say three words, and it's funny. <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. Um, but no, I've been enjoying it. Landmark number one. A waterfall. 
Landmark number two, an information board. And landmark number three, a rock. You see, you can't say I'm not a very good tour guide. On our right, we have a signpost, basically telling rocks not to jump off the cliff. It can be dangerous. Oh, there must be a John Deere dealership up here. These red arrows we see on the right here are basically persuading drivers to stay on the road and not want to drive into that gushing waterfall. I never thought it'd be so entertaining driving up a hill. Okay, so yeah, we're almost there. I'm just going to try and get a few hundred pounds for this. If I get a thousand, I've done well, because really, cutting them up into these sections and we're not even bothering to take the branches off isn't really going to generate much money. So if I get a thousand, I've done very well. If I get more than a thousand, then... Um, yeah, the buyer is crazy. And here we go. Can anybody seriously do 30 in this area? I'd be surprised if you could get over 10. Okay, so let's just, um, let's just part up there. And strap it. Press this uh, exclamation mark. 3, 4, 5, 8. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. That is good. So... Clearly, the buyer is crazy. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.